So, you know, now that we're uh, uh, part of Vox Media, uh, we're looking to kind of change up the conference business and expand it. So, what are the odds that the 2018 Code Conference could be entirely done in VR? Well, I hope the odds are good, but I think they probably will be a little bit past 2018 that we'd actually want to have a full conference in, uh, in VR. But things like that are definitely coming, and we're working hard to, to enable them. Seriously? Yeah. To have that code conference be a replacement for the real thing, it has to feel very close to the real thing. We have to simulate this, and I think we will get there. It'll just take a while, but we're definitely on a path. Now that we've been able to comfortably replace the light coming into your eyes with computer-generated light, anything is possible. When will the line be crossed between gaming and entertainment? I know there'll be a little of, of, of non-gaming stuff even at, right at the beginning, I'm sure. Right away, there'll be a huge amount of non-gaming. A lot of the stuff that we have out here at the Code Conference is non-gaming. There's a lot of medical experiences. There's a lot of educational experiences. At the heart and soul of Oculus, we are game developers. The core technology is heavily built around a 3D game engine. So there is certainly going to be a huge amount of game content. Do you want to build the holodeck? Of course. That's what we're all okay. working on. We wake up right. every day wanting to run to work to, to build the holodeck. Right. One question is about uh, the issue of children mm -hmm. using this. Uh, you're not supposed to use it under 13, is that correct? That's correct. And, and because there are serious medical consequences to the to the brain uh, of, of you know ten year olds, twelve year olds versus an adult, right? This is a different. Yeah, this is a different this technology. Gives the brain different inputs, and their brains are still developing, whereas ours are dying. As you sit here, <laughs> uh, theirs are developing. It, it's the it's early days, and we really are trying to be conscious of uh, health and safety. We take so it very how, seriously. Are you going to put? giant warnings out and kind of do like? We put a warning on right when you put it on. Um, and the age of 13 was something that made a lot of sense when we became part of Facebook. Their age is 13 as well. And so we just felt like, let's start at 13. Let's evolve the technology more. Let's build more confidence in the health and safety side of it. And eventually, one day, we definitely want to have Oculus for kids, especially for all the educational use of this.